Hey guys, my name is Sunil Chahan and today I am going to show you how to stamp and sign a PDF document. Suppose you are in business with another company and they send you a consulting agreement which needs to be signed and stamped by you before starting your work with them. So how do you accomplish this task? There are two approaches to accomplish this task. The first one being that you simply print the PDF document and then sign and stamp the printed hard copies. Thereafter scan those signed and stamped copies and convert them to PDF again. Although you can take this route, but it is a bit tedious. The second approach which is more professional and which will save you a ton of time in future is what we are going to discuss in this video. For this approach you will need transparent PNG version of your signature and stamp. If you do not already have these digital assets, fear not, I have a service offering just to help you with this on my website. I will talk more about this service I offer on my website at the end of this video. For now, let's take a look at how we can sign and stamp our PDF document in a professional way. Okay, so for demonstration purposes, I have here with me a consulting agreement sent by a company to me and alongside I have my signature in PNG format as well as my company seal in PNG format which is basically a transparent image format. So I'll open this PDF document in my PDF reader. I have got two PDF readers the Foxit PDF Reader and the Adobe Acrobat Reader. You can use any of them. The process is quite similar. I'll show you the both processes. So let me first open it in my Foxit PDF Reader. So this is the consulting agreement which needs to be signed and stamped by me and then sent back to the company. So this is where I need to put my initial and I will also put my stamp just for, just for the demonstration purposes that how this is how this is actually done. Okay, so the way this works is that I uh, will go, go in the top bar here and here you will see the navigation uh, navigation label which says fill and sign click it and then here uh, another dialog box will open and now i will just simply click the plus icon here and from here another di dialog box will open from this dialog box i will just click on the button which says import file so to import the file, I will go in the folder where I have, I have my signature and stamp. So first, first thing first, I will import my signature, open it and make sure that you uncheck this convert signature to black and white because it will convert your signature to grayscale if you have this checked, checked on. So I will just uncheck it and then save it. Once you save it, you can see that uh, my mouse pointer now have uh, my signature and then I can just drag and drag my this PDF uh, document down and see where my signature needs to be uh, and see where my signature needs to go and I'll just click here once and you will see that my signature has been applied here. Now again if, if you uh, now uh, suppose you want to also put your stamp here alongside your signature just go in this uh, fill and sign section above again and then click the plus icon and import your stamp png file again and again uncheck the convert signature to black and white and save and once you have done that you can simply click like this and your signature and your stamp will be here uh, suppose I want to place it right here maybe maybe right here and maybe also make it a little smaller there you go just place it on the corner again a bit in the corner here perfect okay so now we need to scroll down again a bit and we need to put our initials here in this section again then go to the fill and sign section again select your signature 
put your signature fill and sign again select your stamp put your stamp somewhere here maybe and then maybe make it a bit smaller bring it down perfect go in the fill and sign again select your signature click on the initial section then select your stamp and put it alongside your signature here maybe again bring it down in size a bit perfect scroll down again and here you can see the signature of Mr. Matt Mellonweg the CEO of the company automatic Do I need to place signature anyway here? No. I need to sign here again. Then go and this fill and sign again. Put your signature. Bring in your stamp. Click and then bring down size a bit. Perfect. That's it. And then afterwards, once you, once you have signed this document, make sure that you do not forget to click the save button here so that your changes are applied and the next time when you open this document you will see that you have your signature and stamp in the document so so now once you have this document signed and stamped you can now send it over email to the company that was asking for it the process is quite similar even if you have adobe acrobat pdf reader so let me show it to you by opening this document in the pdf acrobat reader Okay, so we have this document open in my PDF Acrobat Reader. To sign and stamp this document, you simply need to go in the sign navigation up here and then select fill and sign. Once you have selected the fill and sign, you need to go down here which says sign and from there you will need to select this add signature to add the signature you click on this image icon here and then again explorer window will open and you will need to go in the folder where you have your sign and signature and from here you need to import your sign as well as, as, well as your uh, first let's, uh, let's just uh, import our signature and apply and in the similar fashion your signature will come in your mouse cl clipboard and then I'll just drag it down maybe I have a section left where I need to sign th this document let's just put it here only let's just simply put our signature here just click once and your signature gets applied here and now you need to again uh, import your stamp to apply it here so the process is uh, same you need, just need to go in the sign section here add maybe add signature add initials let's do add initials and maybe add image and then import our signature seal here stamp seal here basically and click on apply and once that is done your stamp will come in the clipboard and you can apply it here you can resize it a bit to suit your needs and then click and there you go this is how you apply stamp and signature to your PDF document. But for this you will need to have PNG versions of your stamp as well as your signature so that your stamp and sign takes the background of the document that you are applying it on. Again you need to go in the file, file section here, save your document to complete the application of your stamp and signature and just choose this folder itself and then save
do you want to replace it? It's saying yes, I want to replace it. And then click close. And now your document is ready to be sent over the email to the company. So if you are now wondering where do you get these transparent PNG stamp and signature digital assets for yourself, I recommend you to visit my website sunilchahan.com. So once you are on my website, scroll down a bit to go to the services section and here you will see two product listings, uh, one for transparent PNG stamp digital asset and another for transparent PNG signature digital asset. So whichever service you want to order, you simply visit, visit its product detail page. and then acquaint yourself with the description and deliverables of the product and if you are convinced that you would like to place an order for the uh, service then simply add it to the cart and make the payment through the checkout process if however you would like to inquire anything more about this service click on make an inquiry for this service to get in touch with me I hope you learned something new in this video. If you did, be sure to share it with your friends and acquaintances and make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you my friend do not miss to get notified about my new video releases.